actually got to look around at the entire crew. The age range is early 20s to 60, and everybody's just grinning ear to ear because the Terminator is on set. And I've been waiting for you. It's the thing he was born to do, and he's phenomenal at it. And it was like all of a sudden you were stepping back in time and remembering where you were both for T1 and T2, every time Arnold walked on screen. I've been waiting for you. In this movie, you see this same scene as the 1984 scene, except the scene will unfold in a different way. Except now, because of the visual effects that you can do, and because of the technology that's available, you can tell that story even better. What was really challenging about it is the Guardian in 1984 is, you know, 20 plus years younger than Arnold himself. We actually scoured the earth to find basically a bodybuilder by the name of Brett. He was the only person who had that 50 inch back that Arnold actually had, but his biceps and, and quads, everything else was slightly lesser than. And then obviously that served as really our proxy. So when you shoot the fight sequence, Arnold and, and you know, basically and everyone has something to interact with. It's wonderful, you know, to me it reminds me sort of of the encounter between the T-1000 and Arnold in T-2 where they first face each other and there's something just fun about watching these two things that have the massive Mack trucks going at each other. So it's a human scale fight with punches being thrown but each one is, you know, like a pile driver. The fight tilts in one direction because, let's face it, our Guardian's been around a little longer and he's starting to show some wear and tear. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, this sort of meeting between two perfectly matched titans is exciting. Did you know that it took eight weeks to film the bloody 20-minute fight finale between the bride and Oren Ishii in Kill Bill? For all the facts, click on more news.